Hello, everybody, and welcome to Above All Journal, where it doesn't matter what is on our to-do list, we are journaling. And today I come to you with this. This is my altered file folder for the Uncommon Guild's Dark Academia altered file folder swap. So I made this trapper keeper of things for a character that would have the dark academia aesthetic. So that would be someone with a deep love for studying by the moonlight in autumn, someone who put, puts their whole heart into their studies, um, has hobbies like walking through graveyards and art museums and drinking the best wine and hanging out at coffee shops and uh, they're ready to bombard you with history facts and quotes from Edgar Allan Poe. So this is what I created. This is their prop. And this is what I made. So let's just start opening it here. Um, as you can see, I named it Shadows of Knowledge, a collection. And I named it after a quote that my professor in college actually said to us, um, he said that knowledge is the biggest curse and the biggest blessing. Once you have knowledge, you forget what it was like before you knew it. And once you know something, no one can ever take it away. And I thought that was fitting for this. Uh, so anyways, let's just jump right inside. So for the swap, they actually told us like some certain things that we needed to have inside to um, make this a suitable thing to swap, but everybody had to have certain things. Um, I added a little bit extra, not a whole lot, because obviously I'm still breaking away from the vintage aesthetic <laughs> that I first learned how to junk journal with. So um, yeah, I still have a lot of vintage things, but uh, I did, I was able to scrounge up something. I'm going to go ahead and take this out and put it aside so we can see. And I'll show you this at the end here. So here we go. Um, inside is just a bunch of pockets. I have a belly band over here on this side. And then this middle here, which I will get to. But I'm just going to start over here. So in here we have some classical music with some mushrooms. I'm sorry, there was somebody who said they hated mushrooms, but um, <laughs> I come from the world of vintage and that's what we have is mushrooms. So I apologize, but it is what it is. The only cloche I could find in my ephemera was this and it is from Beauty and the Beast, but I feel like Beauty and the Beast is definitely dark academia. So I, it fits, it's going. I have this young dapper dude here. Uh, this is from December of 1946. It is an original uh, print. I don't know. I just really admire his, his clothing. And when I was doing my research, that is something someone with dark academia would wear. So anyways, he's in here. He might be someone's boyfriend. Probably someone's grandpa. <laughs> And then I have some old ticket things here that you can dress up and create something new with. And then down here I have some classical music again. I feel like somebody with this aesthetic would just adore the classics. So that's what we're doing. I have this um, butterfly piece here. This is a cigarette card. There's some cute things to read on the back for whoever gets this. I don't know. It just kind of reminded me of uh, those displays with the bugs. I forget what they're called. I apologize. Words escape me as soon as the camera turns on. It's a curse, I swear. And then I have this table of this skeleton. This is a Tim Holtz um, piece. I have Besar which means to kiss in Spanish, I believe. I believe it's Spanish. I don't know. Don't quote me. Um, it is just a flash card. And then I have this here. I love this aesthetic. It's just so pretty. It's like alive but dying. I don't know. Morbid but beautiful, you know? I don't know. I. That's just... It is what it is. Then over here in this pocket, I have this star. 
some celestial things. I feel like they would be maddened by the stars, you know, how, what is out there, you know, that kind of thing. So I just put that in there. And then I have two pieces with some old typewriting font. And these are just like journal cards. But I thought these could be used in a journal somewhere. I don't know. They're cute. I like them. And down here in the moth pocket, which I adore. I can't even tell you how hard it was to cut this paper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I didn't want to put anything over it because I just love it. I love I love it. So I have this tag that I made. So I have the owl for wisdom. There's some script font, some uh, dictionary page, and some uh, fountain pen nibs. And then we have an interactive element here because I, that's what I love. I love interactive pieces. And then I also have some coffee dyeing touched up with some watercolor on the back and then I love this because I thought it looked like the hands of a clock I thought that was cool so anyways that is in there it's kind of Harry Potter-esque which is definitely part of the aesthetic so that's there um I'll go through this centerpiece here in a second so over here to the belly band I have a heart to put their whole heart and soul into their work and then uh, I have this tag because I imagine them as I said uh studying by the moonlight with the ghosts in the dark library just you know is there a whisper I don't know but uh this is a tag and that's in there then I made a cloche this is the best I could do <laughs> um yeah so I just I I hand cut this um it's in there it's in there <laughs> I've got one and then here is a tag with some bookseller information in Dublin as well as London and I thought this was really relevant because I feel like they would definitely want to hit up the old books because I know I would that is where it's at who doesn't love old books so there's that and then here in the center I have like this little pocket with a typewriter and then I have some more Harry Potter uh, another Harry Potter moment I don't know uh, three quarters and then this just opens up this opens up both ways but I'll go to the bottom here first so I have this lady she's looking exasperated I get it I feel the same uh, I have this moth here it's an oddity then I have some old looking advertisement, I guess. I don't know, a specimen. Yeah, like specimen stuff. That's what I was talking about with the ladybugs, like specimen art. Anyways, then I have a constellation. And that is just tucked away over here in this pocket. And then at the top of this, this one opens up here. Let's get it in view. And then here we have a moth, another moth. More specimen art, you know. I have some writing, some alphabet, I'm sure, you know. Then this machine information, I don't know. It's interesting, I like it. It says gothic on it, that's cool. So it's going. It's going in. They like goth gothic architecture because who doesn't? Honestly, it's beautiful. And then as I drop things on the floor, I have this heart on a tag. And that just lives here. Then in the center here, so if I open this up all the way, I have this removable packet. I'll go through that in a second. I will open it up for you. And then uh, I have this postcard here with stacks of books, and I am excessively diverted by Jane Austen. Me too. And then it's just a postcard. Then I have some Edgar Allan Poe uh, poetry. This is from the 1970s, I believe. It is naturally aged. I have not touched that, never will. <laughs> it is beautiful as is. Then I have this uh, math textbook page. 
It is from the 1940s. Very fragile. Uh, I would back this before you put, like, it, don't fold it. Don't fold it. It is fragile. It doesn't feel fragile, but it is fragile. <laughs> so just so you are aware. And then I have this here. This looked like an art museum gallery to me. So I made this into a journaling card. And I believe this was Manet who painted this. Uh, these particular portraits. So Paris, because he was French. And then here I have a grave rubbing tag. So this is a grave rubbing that I did. And then sepulture. It's a beautiful word. And then it's just been, yeah, uh, stitched there. Very beautiful. I don't want to get rid of it, but I am. <laughs> I can always make another one. Okay, then here I have the pouch. So this is just, it is knotted, but it is very loosely knotted. So don't worry, it will come apart just fine. I have... William Shakespeare here who doesn't quote who doesn't not quote William Shakespeare you know can't think of any quotes right now I am a big fan though <laughs> okay so I have a leaf here I feel like a dark academia person would collect leaves because well that's what I do I imagine I would kind of be in that aesthetic then I have some writing here uh, a bust here and this is like a map of the stars it's hard to see through the camera but it is cool I like it then I have this leaf which is so delicate and nice but it is fabric it won't crumble on you at least I don't think it will and then I have like a compass here to be added to something I have some typewriting imagery here I guess it's like all the parts of a typewriter a vintage library catalog card this was for alcoholism <laughs> that was the anyways the many faces of Ethel and then I have a wild Irish rose wine label and this is real vintage things and of course I had to put a skeleton in there like a skull I had to so it's in there and this all goes just like that and then you tie it back up but I will do that off camera because of time because time is precious so um folding this back up there is a pocket on the back and this is a bulldog clip with some different charms i'll show you this first since i just took it off so i've got some different kinds of charms i love the fuzzy pom-poms they're kind of weird and just funky but these are like buttons i guess there's some skeleton keys there should be two on there should be yep there it is there's another one so you can put this on anything you wanted, um, but it lives just right here. And then on the back here, we have some more specimen art. And then um, a journaling card I made. Uh, my cousin said that it wouldn't be my art if there wasn't a male private part, and she's not wrong. She's not wrong. So anyways, that's in there. Let me know if that offends you. I'll take it out. <laughs> Does not offend me, so whatever. <laughs> so, and then we have another one of those typewriter uh, cards. And then here I have an ever-ending journaling card. I imagine somebody uh, just writing endless notes, scribbling away in the library. So it just opens up like this. And it comes back to the beginning so very neat I love this it's one of my favorite pieces to make so anyways one of those is in here tucked away in the back for your use and also as promised we come back to this stack here so 
it was five book pages. I believe there's five book pages in here. I might have to recount, but uh, this is my stamped tissue. Uh, I went with the paper bag because I just, I did not like the stark white. Uh, so I went with this and uh, it is different on each side. So you could cut it in half and use whatever you wanted from there. I like this side the most. I like that a lot. Then I have some vintage music page. Lots of good music. This is another grave rubbing. Um, respectfully done, I might add. Uh, James F. 1834 to 1901. His final resting place in Wyoming. And here we have some vintage dictionary page naturally aged and one of my tea dyed pages and that is all for shadows of knowledge thank you for watching and listening uh please let me know if you have any questions regarding this piece and i will see you again in my next one bye